Hey there YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, fix your Scepter TV that is uh, blinking. Uh, the screen will turn all the way off and, uh, and then it'll, it'll turn on, look for source, and do that over and over again. So you can see it's just turning off, on, off. messing with the focus on my camera. Alright, so the first step is to take the back off. There are five screws for the stand, if you still have a stand. And there are screws all around the perimeter here. All the way around there. And there are also these tiny little screws that you have to take off. There's eight tiny screws in all. Let's take all the screws out. Um, it'll start to lift up. You can feel it separated, but it's kind of tricky. You have to kind of uh, work it around this um, coax connector here. Be careful once you get it off, because there is an audio cable right here. That's attached to the speakers down there. You have to disconnect that from the main board. Now, once you get the back off, you'll see the main board here. This controls like the video signals and the output to the display. And then this is the power supply. And this is usually what causes the problem. On this particular unit. The model number is uh, MP116, but they do vary. There is a large capacitor here that sometimes fails. You can tell it's failed uh, easily if the top of the capacitor is bulging out. You can also hook it up to a multimeter or a uh, to an oscilloscope and test it, but the parts are so cheap and these things are known to suck, so might as well just replace them. You're going to want to get yourself a soldering iron, a good one, and some solder wick. I'm removing this row of capacitors. Alright, so just a quick tutorial. You basically take the soldering wick, put it you're making like a sandwich, you put it above the joint you want to desolder and you just touch it and it'll suck the solder up when it reaches temperature. Alright, that solder wick sucks pretty hard so I also have a solder sucker which will hopefully fare better. Alright, and we're back. Um, I got all the uh, parts here from Mouser. They actually arrived pretty quick, uh, even though I paid for the cheapest $5 shipping. There you'll see the four removed capacitors, and they do actually have the polarity on there, so that's kind of nice. Just for ease of reference, uh, the side of the board that has these two connectors, it's the 35 volt, 25 volt, 10 volt, 10 volt. Just for my own record keeping. I'm going to heat the pad and the component. So it flows on there nicely. Take some scissors here and eye protection. Trim off that. And maybe a little better than that.
Alright, and uh, replacement is the opposite of removal. I got the screws bunched up nicely here, so I know where they go. So I got, these are the stand, these are around the rim, these are that hold, will hold the power card on, and these are, um, will hold the back, the tiny screws around the back. Alright, make sure you plug in the AC mains connector on the power supply. I put it all back together and forgot that connector. <laughs> so, here we are. Um, we were ah, got it fixed just in time for Dr. Oz. Awesome. So now I can shoot myself so this video might not ever get posted.